bending your knees so that your feet are flat on the floor. And if you have your blocks nearby, if you grab a block. We're going to start with a pelvic reset. So place the block between the thighs, tickle the backs of your heels like we're going into a bridge pose. Take a breath in to prepare and exhale, just come up to a low bridge. So not to the full extension, but about halfway. <clears throat> So we squeeze that block, which is going to turn on the quads, and we ensure that we tilt the tailbone towards the heels and squeeze the glutes to ensure that the glutes are all turned on around the hip bones. A really nice way to ensure that this is happening is you can place one hand on your belly and one hand on your lower back on your tailbone, and you can actually just invite your tailbone to tilt towards the heels and you can pull your belly towards your face. So what this is doing is encouraging your lower belly abdomen to turn on and tilting the tailbone so your glutes turn on. So if you ever need that, it's a nice little assist for yourself to make sure that everything's working the way it should. Keep pushing through the heels and then pull your heels towards your body, hands up over the top of your head, with spider fingers, so my fingers are touching each other, each finger, and now protract through the shoulders. So we're pushing those shoulders up towards the roof. This is gonna to start to engage the scapula. So here, push your fingers in towards each other as much as you can to create friction, tension, which then turns on all the muscles through the arms and the shoulders, and breathe. Keep squeezing those glutes, don't let them sag down. They should start to really start to almost get a bit of heat now. Now we're gonna move the hands away from the axis, the center of the body, which is gonna put more tension on the core. So open the hands, keeping that tension in the fingers, opening the hands out to the side and hovering them just off the floor. If this is too much, just don't come as far. So keep trying to get those uh, arms as wide as possible. Keep tense through those fingers, protracting through those shoulders as much as you can and hovering off the floor. Exhale, gently bring those hands back together. Fingertips touch, push them into each other, protract through shoulders. So the, the actual shoulder heads are off the floor. It's just my upper back that's on the floor right now. Keep squeezing those glutes. Don't let those legs drop. They should be starting to shake. As we open up, we inhale. Hands come down to float just off the floor. Keep really strong through those shoulders. Exhale, come back to center. Lowering the hands down and slowly bringing upper back, middle back, lower back to floor. Those of you who did Brave Sculpt, I'm feeling quite sore, so I could definitely feel my glutes after that. I hope you can also feel them too. And then windscreen wiping your legs from side to side. <clears throat> Put the block down for a moment. We're going to use that same movement of extending the hands out um, away from the central axis of the body to create tension. So interlace hands behind the neck and head. We're going to keep the feet on the floor for now. Elbows to the roof. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to rise up. So the shoulder blades are coming off the floor. We'll use the left hand so you can see me. So I'm going to reach with the left hand about 70 degrees. So reaching up almost over the knee. And I'm going to have my, my shoulders off the floor. My right hand is supporting my head. Hand back just behind the head and inhale down. Exhale, rise up again, other side. So we're reaching at about 70 degrees. They sh both shoulder blades are off the floor, pushing the lower back into the floor. Left hand is holding the head. Hand comes back, inhale, drop. Exhale, one more each side. So come up and reach through the left hand over that knee. Shoulders are off the floor, yeah? Push those feet into the floor, hold. Hands comes back behind the head, inhale to lower. So the abs are starting to turn on. Exhale, other side. So we come up and reach through the right hand over that knee. Keep supporting the neck with that left hand. Abs should be starting to burn. Hand comes back to center, inhale, come down. We're not done yet. Exhale, rise up, left hand reaches. And then from here, we're going to take that principle of opening the shoulder to the side. This is gonna to start to really burn in the core and hold for three, for two, for one. Take it back, hand behind the head and then lower. Breath in to prepare, exhale to rise, right hand reaches up. Exhale, open up to the side. If it's too much to open right to the side, just go halfway or to whatever point feels like your abs are really working. Just go to your edge. Exhale, come back, hand behind the head, inhale down. 
One more each side. Exhale to rise. Left hand reaches. Exhale, open to the side. See if you can get those shoulders off the floor as much as you can. Inhale back to center. Hand behind the head. Exhale and lower down. Inhale. Exhale, rise up. <laughs> right hand reaches. You're starting to feel your core now. <laughs> and then out to the side, breath in. Hold. Exhale back to center. Hand behind head. Inhale to drop. Oh, my God. Nice job. And then windscreen wipe the legs. Did you feel that, Rosso? I definitely felt that. <laughs> I don't know if it was just me because I was sore, but that was hard. <laughs> so we're going to have a little rock and roll forward and back if that feels nice for you. And we're coming into a dolphin. So now we start to open up through the shoulders. I'll turn this up a little bit. So grab your biceps. Have your hands out in front of you. And we'll come into a dolphin first. So we're going to tuck the toes and just start to straighten the legs. Now, you don't have to have your legs dead straight. It's okay to have them bent. And then look towards your feet so your neck is nice and long. I'd much rather you're like this than if you're straightening your legs and you're doing a curve in the spine. So you want the back to be nice and strong. Walk the legs a little further so that your body is coming over your arms. This is going to create more weight in the arms, which makes it more challenging. You can keep those knees bent or you can have them a little bit more straight. Just have a play. Look towards the feet. Now, spread your feet wider. So to the sides of the mat. So we're taking a really wide um, dolphin pose. The left hand now is going to come down onto the floor so that your, your elbow and your wrist are at a right angle from each other. So they're stacked. And then just keep relaxing, looking down towards your feet. This is called flash prep in forest yoga, or it's called a funky dolphin. <laughs> so now come onto the tippy fingers of the left hand. Your option now is to bring that left hand up behind you and place it on your lower back. So this is going to really put that, that pressure in that right shoulder and build strength. Keep protracting. So don't sink down so your head is touching the floor. If your head is touching the floor, you need to push into the floor and raise up a little more. Exhale, lower that left arm down, back to where you were. Option to lower down and have a break for a moment or stay in your dolphin with me. Have another breath. And then exhale, the right hand comes down to the floor so that your right elbow is stacked over the right wrist at a 90 degrees. Well, not, not, yeah. And then Ross has been telling me off for my degrees. I've been off apparently. <laughs> and from here... You can come off to onto the tips of your fingers on your right hand and you can slowly bring them up to your lower back. This is just an option. If the first one is enough for you and your shoulders, then stay there. Push into that shoulder, protract. Don't sink and headbutt the floor. <laughs> Try and grow. One more breath and exhale. Lower that right hand and bring the knees to the floor and have a little child's pose. Gently when you're ready, start to push up onto your hands to a tabletop. We'll walk our hands a little further forward, tuck the toes and push up and back to a downward facing dog. Walking out the legs, pedaling through the knees. 